right, now we want to bring you today's original with an in-depth report on a topic we've been keeping an eye on here. It is, of course, the war in Ukraine. Now, earlier we told you that the country is bracing for a possible Russian attack at a nuclear power plant. It would add even further to the destruction that so much of the country has seen in nearly six months since the war began. But a new kind of army is at work in the wreckage of Russia's war, an army of young volunteers. They call it Repair Together. It's a group of teenagers and 20-somethings coming to the aid of fellow Ukrainians. They spend their days cleaning up bombed out homes. NBC's Josh Letterman is there with more. It's early on a Sunday morning in Ivanivka, but a group of young Ukrainians is already awake, ready to work. In a village devastated by Russian artillery, 69-year-old Olya Lazarenko is waiting for them. This used to be your, your kitchen. In what's left of the home she and her husband built 45 years ago. She says, I cried all day yesterday because everything is lost. There's nothing left. But now a new kind of army is fighting in Ukraine. Not to tear down, but to build up what's been lost. It's called Repair Together, a band of teenagers and 20-somethings finding their own way to fight for their country's future. The group says more than 1,500 Ukrainians have stepped up in cities across Ukraine, mostly connecting through Instagram. At some events, the cleanups turn into a rave, DJs spinning techno. Irina Lialik came to Ivanivka from Lviv, more than 400 miles away in the relative safety of Western Ukraine. I really needed to help somehow. And uh, donating money is nice, I do that, but it doesn't fill in out. So I wanted to come here and do something with my bare hands. Seeing the hope and optimism as these Ukrainians clean up and rebuild, you could almost forget that there's a war still raging. But there are reminders here that this war is far from over. As Darina Tischenko works in the summer sun, her thoughts are in southern Ukraine, where two months ago her dad was serving in the special forces. He exploded uh, on the mine, yeah, and uh, yeah, no one survived that operation. And for me, being here, it's also to continue uh, his uh, ideas, his beliefs. He put himself at risk because he yeah. wanted yeah. to do this work. Ukraine's government says at least 140,000 homes have been destroyed in this war so far, leaving three and a half million people homeless, like Olya and her husband Grigory, now living with neighbors, their grandson fighting on the front lines. But amid the grief and piles of dusty rubble, there is still hope in Ukraine. She says, I can only thank them so much for coming here and helping us. My husband and I wouldn't be able to do anything here by ourselves. We don't want to wait to the end of the war and then start rebuilding. Even if, God forbid, this house gets attacked another time, I will come here another time and rebuild it twice. Josh Letterman, NBC News, Ivanivka, Ukraine. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.